y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Latte and Michelle back with another video if you clicked on this video for a high puff tutorial I am so sorry but this is not a tutorial this is a chit chat watch me do my hair video just a laid back chill you know just want y'all to vibe with me while you guys watch me do my hair basically I just wanted to talk about life and the things I've been dealing with um, as far as just new beginnings, starting new things, um, working on my goals for the upcoming new year and stuff like that. Um, Y'all, I'm trying to really, really stay positive even when there are a lot of negative things around me going on um it's been a struggle um i'm in the process of becoming a professional hair braider and i'm still trying to stay afloat with everything else going on in my life and it's been a struggle it's been a real real struggle let's talk about the growth you guys oh my gosh I cut my hair well I actually trimmed my hair about five to six months ago and I'm seeing so much growth already like when I first went natural I'm not gonna lie the growth it, it was slow it was very slow but like once I got my routine together I got you know some some good tips down um you know just stuck to a, a, a natural hair regimen you know i start to see you know the growth so that's the plan for that's that's the goal for this upcoming new year is to focus more on a regimen for my natural hair um because i'm not gonna lie i wasn't taking care of it at the beginning of this year and up until my last trim actually <laughs> it's very embarrassing um i've been natural for about uh i want to say i went natural in 2015 so it's it's been a quite it's been quite a long time since I first big chop. So I kind of feel like my hair should be a lot longer and should be a lot healthier, but you know, I haven't really been taking care of it. So that is the goal for 2023 is to take good care of my hair, stick to a regimen, and you know, just wait for the growth. But yeah, um, Oh, that's what I that's also what I wanted to talk about. So I've been thinking about rebranding, revamping. I don't know the exact word for it, but I just want to start my whole hair business over. I want to change the name. I want to just change how my website looks. I've been wanting to um, just change up a lot, like even with YouTube. I want to change um, like my banner and stuff like that, my intro. Like I just really want, you know, my brand to be perfect. And that's that's another issue with me. I'm just a perfectionist, even though, you know, I, I, I create, you know, something for YouTube. You know, I just I don't I don't like it right after I create it. So I'm just a perfectionist. And that's just what has got me into this place of wanting to just make everything perfect. Um, but yeah, like I just want it to look, you know, the best, you know, like I want to change my name. Of course, right now my name is Styles by Nichelle. I've been contemplating, um, just, you know, going by my name, being the braider or something like that. I don't know, but that's another thing that I've been thinking about, um, going into the new year. Um, just wanting to, you know, rebrand everything and stuff like that. But yeah, are you guys interested in seeing that process of my hair business? Are you guys interested in seeing the process of my um, YouTube channel as well? Um, I don't know what type of videos I really want to put on my channel just yet. But there are a lot of things coming soon for you guys. Um, so stay tuned, stay tuned. I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I have to just be okay with change and just not knowing and that's where my anxiety just comes from like honestly 
just starting new things um is very nerve-wracking for me and I'm working on it. I'm, I'm that's that's another goal for 2023 is to better manage my anxiety. Um just because I I overwhelm myself so much and uh when I tell you uh, like as soon as I get started on something and I feel like I'm very overwhelmed, I just I have to leave it alone because I don't know, I just be feeling like very overstimulated and just overwhelmed and just be like too too much for me. But yeah, I'm working on a lot of goals for 2023. Um, my main goal as far as with YouTube is, you know, just staying consistent, you know, making sure I get your guys's opinion as well as just, you know, with my natural hair updates, my natural hair journey, um, just updates with my hair braiding business, my new job at the, at the shop. Um, you know, just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm putting a lot of things in work and, um, I, I'm, you know, I'm so impatient, like, I want to see progress, like, like that, you know, like, right after I do it, and I have to learn, I'm, you know, I'm learning that things don't work that fast, and stuff like that, no matter how fast I want them to move, um, yeah, like, just, I'm just trying to think positive, I'm trying to get through life just with a positive mindset, um, I'm not gonna lie, the beginning of this year was very, very hard for me, um, just staying positive because I just felt like everything just was not working for me. But up until like, you know, uh, a month ago, you know, a month or two months ago, I was very, very unmotivated. I was very, I just wasn't very disciplined in, you know, the things that I needed to get done, which I am still not disciplined. I'm working on it, which that is another goal for 2023 um yeah it's just life is just you know life is just stressful and I'm just trying to look at it from a positive uh point of view and yeah I want to share my journey of hitting all my goals for 2023 with you all as well as just just everything that I have going on in my life I want to share that with you all and hopefully somebody watching can relate and yeah but yeah, like, um, I'm, I've been trying to get into doing, you know, different things for my YouTube channel. I've been trying, trying to get into doing different styles as far as my hair braiding business, just to try and grow my clientele a lot more. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a whole process over here. Like, I'm so excited for the future. Like, I'm like, I can really say, like, I feel, you know, very, very, very excited for my future. I feel like everything that I'm doing in life right now is leading up to an amazing future. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for the opportunities that I have right now. And I just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm so ready to learn everything to get me in the position that I need to be in. And yeah, I just cannot wait to share that with you guys. I'm so excited. Um, yes, make sure you guys comment, you know, down below what type of videos you guys want to see. I am trying to, you know, plan my weeks out so it's not very overwhelming for me. Um, and yeah, and also get content out there that you guys would like to watch. Um, yeah, honestly, I've been trying to figure out more hairstyles and stuff like that to do like I just told my boyfriend you know let me know some styles you want me to do and I'm gonna just try to record you know take pictures just you know post content 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 just try to record as much as I can just to you know stay consistent as possible Instagram um Facebook um Twitter like all of those social media you know platforms it's very hard to stay consistent like it's so hard because honestly I'm not gonna lie like I genuinely do not know the best times to post for neither one of those social media platforms only YouTube just because they kind of you know once you post more um they give you like the times that your viewers watch and stuff like that but with like Facebook Instagram Twitter it's so hard like you know I just try to make sure you know, I'm promoting myself and just getting my work out there every day, early in the morning. Um, you know, like it's it's a lot that I have to learn, but again, 
I'm working on not overwhelming myself and just working on, you know, organizing, prioritizing, and stuff like that. But yeah, like, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Like, super, super excited. I've been setting a lot of goals um, for 2023, um, just goals for my channel, goals for my hair business, um, goals for just my mental health, goals for just everything, to be honest. Like, I just want 2023 to be, you know, my year of, you know, success and just amazing things happening, you know, so... I'm definitely, you know, putting a lot into play before the new year. And I'm going to make sure that I stick to everything and, you know, just make sure I hit all my goals. And yeah. So I ended up just doing um, chunky twists for this um, high puff just because. Honestly, my hair is getting longer and I can tell from the last trim, it grew a lot. And I used to do my twists very, very small. And I never used to like braid it at the root, but now I braid it at the root because it just helps with making my puff look fluffy and stretched and not so shrunken. But yeah, I definitely can say just sticking to a good trimming regimen and you know just moisturizing using the right products for your hair just doing like good research on your hair texture and just experimenting with different products and stuff um, will definitely help you figure your hair your natural hair out um it definitely took me a while like at the beginning i was i was i was i was doing everything like you know the co-washing the you know the weekly washing the weekly deep conditioning like all like i was styling my hair so much i kind of felt like my hair wasn't growing as much when it was shorter and i realized you know once my hair got longer i didn't really have to do all that extra stuff like honestly now when i do my twist outs and braid outs or like my high puffs and stuff i use a leave-in conditioner that's it i just use leave-in leave-in conditioner and you know my spray bottle some oil sometimes um but that's pretty much it like honestly I, I i like how the growth is coming and i don't have to really do too much um but at the same time like i do want to work on retaining moisture and actually retaining length as well so i'm gonna definitely figure out a whole hair regimen and stuff like that and i will also update you guys on that as well so stay tuned for that video I try to keep heat out of my hair um, anytime I do use heat. It's not for a very long time and it's not directly, you know, on the hair as much. It, it, I kind of focus on the roots, honestly, when I'm doing a high puff and using my blow dryer. So, yeah, just using a lot of heat is just something that I have to work on um, for this new year, this new hair regimen that I'm putting together. Um, yeah, like... I'm excited like I'm I, it's so much stuff that I'm like working on right now I'm so excited to just show you all and just uh so exciting <laughs> it's just so exciting I'm so happy I haven't felt like this in a very very long time I'm not gonna lie I haven't felt you know this excited or just happy about you know my future you know and you know I just can't wait to show you guys I love how my puffs are just super, super big. But like, as soon as I get in the car, it shrinks. Like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like try to show some pictures and stuff of how my puff looks after I wear it and get in the car. Like, it'll look big and fluffy like this, but like, as soon as I get in the car, it's gonna be flat. <laughs> it's gonna be flat. <laughs> it's so annoying. But yeah. I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys are staying updated with me on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat video. 
um make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you guys are notified every time i post also comment some video ideas down below and let me know what you guys want to see and i will catch you guys in my next video